Okay, so this is a little tube amp I built. Um, this is probably the highest gain amplifier I've ever built. It's taking the input from an iPod right now, and if I just twitch the volume control, we get really good volume, and if I turn it up too far, it just gets way too loud. Um, beside the uh, besides the very noticeable buzz in the speaker, which I know is, which I know for sure is just stray magnetic fields and um, these uncovered audio cable inputs and the uncovered wiring right here. Um, if I actually put much thought into this, I'm sure I could have gotten rid of some of that hum. But besides all of that. Um, it has really clear, distinct sound. Um, Public Radio International. Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 Pacific on PRI. I'm Marco Werman. This is The World. Back to our top story today, Syria and the wait for a possible U.S. So, um, it has way clearer sounds than... Um, some other uh, audio amps I have that are integrated chip based um, and this is just with two tubes so I'm surprising that I could get that clarity of sound with just two tubes um, uh, the tube lineup is kinda weird um, uh, the only tubes I have access to right now are some old television tubes that I got um, there are tubes that were used in the early televisions that were all tube. Um, this one right here was used in the tuner. It was either the tuner or the uh, IF strip of the TV. Um, it was never meant to be an audio amplifier. And this one definitely was never meant to be an audio amplifier and it was actually the tube that drives the flyback. Uh, in the old TV, so these two tubes are really were never supposed to function in this way, but they seem to just fine as you can hear. See, I don't believe it. Nasser, you met many, many Syrians on the border from refugees to rebel fighters. There were, there were two soldiers of the Free Syrian. And, um, let's see if I can get this in shot. Um, I have the schematic right here. Here's the audio input right here. It goes through a 0.1 microfarad capacitor into the volume, which goes into the grid of the first tube. Here is the resistor that determines the gain of the circuit. Here is the resistor that also determines the gain. Um, right here is the bypass capacitor that goes to the next tube. And here's a 1 meg resistor from ground to get rid of the stray capacitance on this grid. Um, uses a 15k ohm resistor to... Oh, sorry. Uses a 15k ohm resistor to bias the... It's either the suppressor... I'm pretty sure it's the suppress... It's either... No, the screen... It has a 15k resistor from the plus to go to the screen grid. And, um... This is all self-biasing, so... I don't have any pots to turn around like you would in a transistorized version. And that's the nice thing about tubes is that when you give them power they kind of bias their own grid so you don't need to put extra voltage into them to get them to turn on. Right here we have the audio output transformer. Um, this, the one that I have is um, 160 ohms and then it's about 2 ohms. Um, it was the vertical output transformer from an old TV, so wasn't meant for this either, so if I really want to optimize the circuit, I'd make this about 500 ohms and about 8 ohms, but you know, this wasn't supposed to be a real uh, what's it called? Um, good amplifier. I just wanted to see what I could do with some old TV tubes. So, um... Yeah, you can turn up the volume. 
most undertold stories uh, out of Syria today is the extent of the local uh, and the popular backlash. Oh, and there's one thing I didn't mention. And I also added a 10 microfarad capacitor across this resistor right here. And I also added a 100 ohm resistor in series with the ground and the cathode, and I put a 10 microfarad cap across that. Um, it's not required, it just makes it a little bit more stable and increases the gain, gain a little bit. So, um, that is pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching.